Hi partners, we just wanted to send you a little love video and just express how much each and every one of you mean to us. Um, your support is huge, not just financially, but um, just your prayers and your encouragement mean the world to us. Um, we wanted to share a little about what's coming up so that you guys can be praying um, and just kind of expressing what you guys are investing in in Isla Vista yeah. and in our ministry and in our lives. It's huge. Yeah, so like she said, this video is just kind of a quick um, just list of things that you can be praying for that we have coming up that we're really praying into. And so um, first thing on our list is our third Jesus Burgers book, Volume 3, is going to be coming out here in the spring. And so I had the honor to write the introduction um, to this book. And this book has, we've seen testimonies of the first two volumes sweeping through prisons, through other countries, people getting saved, reading the book. Um, and just the amount of testimonies that we've heard locally from reading the book have been amazing. Um, and even some of the things we're going to share about are fruit from the book. Um, so just be praying for that. Be praying that this book would, um, it's a collection of testimonies from our community. So it's different people in our community sharing what God has done in their own heart um, through our community. And yeah, so just be praying that God would breathe on that and that it would really impact people. And so um, one of the things that that book has opened up for us coming up is um, the opportunity to share the gospel with 30 inmates at a juvenile hall here um, in Santa Maria. So it's a little bit north of Santa Barbara. Um, and so one of their, I believe it's their warden, um, someone in the actual um, juvenile hall heard of what we were doing through um, someone who's been a part of our ministry that works there. Um, she's been reading the book. And so she sent us an email and invited us over to present on Jesus Burgers. And so we have two hours. We have one hour with 15 inmates and one hour with the other 15 inmates. And so we Kids. just get to, yeah, um, so they're ages 13 to 18. Um, and so we just get to share our heart and giving us freedom to just talk about Jesus. So it's going to be really cool. So just pray for that. Pray for yeah, that these kids would know Jesus, yeah. that they would just feel the presence of God and they would be drawn to his heart um, and they would give their life to him and that we would just get to pray over him. We're going to hand out books to them and just love on them and pray for him. And so there's that. And then we have an opportunity to be on a radio show here coming up. So me, Katie, um, and a couple of people from the Jesus Burgers house are going to just get to share our heart on what God's doing in Santa Barbara. It's a secular radio show, which is really amazing that um, reached out to us and just wanted to hear more of our story and what's going on and so we'd get around I think that's 30 minutes to an hour to share which is really oh, awesome so yeah really excited about that so just be praying um, that would come out we'll film that here in the next month or so and then it will actually be produced or um, I guess released yeah in June so it's gonna be super amazing um, last thing on my list before I hand it over to Katie is the Power and Love Conference with Todd White in Anaheim at the end of April. And so Todd White, if you don't know who that is, he's an amazing man. Um, he's a friend of our ministry and we are really excited to just partner with their ministry. So they come for four days in Anaheim. They do a conference called Power and Love where they just um, share Jesus and their heart is to activate the local church and the local body of believers into sharing their faith and looking like Jesus to their communities and so it's gonna be a really cool time Kate and I get to volunteer with um, some of our friends that work for Todd and work in the ministry and then another good friend of ours will be speaking at the ministry as well with Todd and so just super excited to get to hang out with those guys and hear what the Lord's put on their heart and just see people activated so be praying for that yeah and uh, coming up in a little less than two weeks we have our huge day rager in Isla Vista called Deltopia this is when thousands and thousands of students just rage all day and there's just it's really it's intense. Mardi Gras yeah much. it's like Mardi Gras for UCSB students and people who travel there but it's huge for us we get some big Bethel teams coming down to work with us um, just to power up and go out and evangelize and love the city practically and, and just preach the gospel and the stage is really really huge for us we give yeah. out hundreds of burgers and um it's our favorite day of the year just because god shows up in such tangible ways it's yeah. unreal so we're just praying for um people to be touched by jesus for salvations for healings for um just peace to overcome all this big party scene yeah. um and so that's huge for our house too they love it so Secondly, we have, well, we have uh, two Bethel two teams, Bethel teams with us for that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a great time for our community, too, that Bethel just really um, brings such an honoring culture to our, our group and really bless us. And it's a time for us to bless them as well and just share how we do family um, 
really easily in Isla Vista in our community. And next, we've just been meeting with future people that are going to be in the JB House next year for year 18 and 19, 2018 19. And, um, yeah, we've just been praying for wisdom to who to select and who's carrying the vision and who just really has a big yes for Jesus. So yeah. if you guys can be praying that we just have good discernment, that um, he really brings, we're looking for a house dad for next year and maybe another spot for a guy, pretty much to fill yeah. the house. So just be praying for a radical lover of Jesus who's um, just really carrying a servant leadership heart is what we're really praying for. You guys mean the world to us. Yeah. These are huge ways we've been praying for us in our ministry. Yeah, and so just want to leave you guys with a little nugget that I felt like the Lord had just spoken into me today on one of my runs. So it's just listening to a podcast and just getting to enjoy Him. And something that was said that really stuck out to me is that it's from Psalms 22, and it says that that the Lord inhabits the praise of His people. And so my prayer for you guys is that no matter what's going on in your life right now, no matter what type of situation and craziness that life is throwing at you, just that God would would show, um, show himself through your worship, that you would just be a worshiping people, that no matter where your bank account's at, no matter what um, sickness or whatever is, is being thrown at you right now, just that we would all be worshiping people and that as we worship, God's presence would be so real in our own lives and it would change the way we think about things, it would change the way we see our situations. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna end with a little prayer for you guys. That, um, same prayer that I would pray for myself, that God would be so real in our day-to-day -day lives and that it would transform us. And so, Lord, we just thank you for these amazing people. And, Lord, we pray that we would be a worshiping people regardless of our situation, regardless of our circumstance, that we would just set our attention on you, we would give you our focus, um, that we would just put our eyes on who you are, and that we would worship you. That as we worship you, God, we know that your word says that you would fill that place, you would inhabit that worship, and that you would be so real to us. And so just bless these people, bless these amazing partners that we have. And God, I pray that no matter what's going on, that your presence would be king. And we pray that in Jesus' name. So we love you guys. Love Thank you, you so much. See you guys.